Welcome back to the video lesson on construction. This is part three of the lesson. If you're yet to see parts one and two, kindly uh, do that now. Go back to parts one and two, watch the videos so that you can understand what I'm discussing in this particular video. All right, so in this video, we shall continue with uh, the lesson by taking a second example. So here's a question, it says, using ruler and set squares only, construct a rectangle of size six centimeter by four centimeter. Measure the diagonals. For a quick recapitulation, so I explained in the previous video, like I said, I explained two different methods of constructing parallel lines. All right. So the first method has to do with the use of ruler, ruler and set square, while the second method has to do with uh, using a pair of compasses and a ruler. So to carry out this construction, what to simply do is to draw some parallel lines and perpendicular lines and connect. So uh, watch and uh, also do yours as I do my construction. As I do my is I want you to follow me by also doing your construction. The so first, get your ruler, place it horizontally. The rectangle is left six centimeters. So we measure from zero to six. That is length six centimeters. All right. Next, you construct a line perpendicular to this one. Uh, right. So I'm going to locate a point which is four centimeters away from this line. So here is four centimeters. Let's locate the point carefully. I'm trying to locate the point at exactly four centimeters. So make sure it's at the calibrated O point. O, the o okay. All right, okay, I think that thing that is good. So that is a point four centimeters. Then uh, get your set squared and make sure the set squared is resting exactly on the initial line you drew. Okay, that is it. Or you've drawn. All right, then just as usual, you slide it up and, and make sure it is touching firmly the ruler. Uh, slide it up until you get to that point, then you stop. All right, so now you're free to draw uh, your parallel line to the initial one. Starting from zero, draw it up to six. Okay, good. All right, so next, uh, you Construct, you draw a, construct a perpendicular line to this. 
So since I have my lines already, I have my parallel lines drawn of equal length. So all I need to do is just to connect it with my ruler. So you, you try to construct yours accurately. Like this, all right, that's good. And connect the other end of the lines. Uh, so like this, connect it to your pencil. Perfect. All right, so. Okay, for you to confirm if your construction is correct, measure the diagonals of the construction and that should be around 7.2 approximately. Yeah, this is something somewhere around 7.2 approximately. Very good. So that is uh, diagonal one. Let me connect it. Let me draw a line there. So here is diagonal one. It's uh, about 7.2 centimeters approximately. And do that also for the second diagonal. That should also be 7.2 centimeters approximately. Let's confirm. Okay. So make sure the measurement starts at zero on the dot. Start at zero. Very good. So here's our construction. All right, here's our construction, and let us calibrate. Let's label. Let us label. Let me see how it is. Okay, so it's uh, all right. Just give it any labeling. Let's label our construction. So I can call this A, B, rectangle A, B, C. D. All right. So where A, B, and C, D is six centimeters respectively. Okay. Then A, D, and B, C is four centimeters respectively. Don't mind my uh, writing. I'm doing that with the mouse. That is why you see it uh, looking so rough. Now, while the diagonals AC, diagonals AC is equal to 12, oh, sorry, 7.2 approximately. So if your diagonal is not approximately 7.2, it means your construction is wrong. And that must also be equal to diagonal BB, all right? So that is that about that, very simple. Uh, try to construct this and see that uh, the construction is uh, the diagonal rather is 7.2 centimeters just like mine. Okay, so we are good to continue with the lesson. Now uh, our focus right now is to construct perpendicular lines. Okay, so the so two lines are said to be perpendicular to each other if they intersect at right angles. That is, if they intersect at 90 degrees. So below are two pictures or figures of uh, intersecting lines. The first figure shows two lines AB and BC intersect at 90, 90 degrees or at right angle. Now here's a symbol to show that two lines intersect or are perpendicular. So we read this as AB is perpendicular to BC. Okay, I'll take it again. AB is perpendicular to BC. So this is a symbol that represents perpendicular. The next figure shows two lines, PQ and RS, 
intersecting at 90 degrees. That is, they are perpendicular to each other. And it is read as PQ is perpendicular to RS. There are two different approach, uh, approaches to constructing perpendicular lines. The first is given as follows. To construct a perpendicular line from a point on a line. So here is a line x, y, and the point is directly located at the line, which is point z. I'll read the procedure and we do the construction together. Procedure A. Place a ruler along the given line x, y. B. Place one edge of the right angle of the set square along the ruler. Step C. Hold the ruler firmly with one hand and then slide the set square with the other hand along the edge of the ruler until the required position Z is reached. Then draw a line through Z. Okay, so let's carry out those procedures and see how it goes. All right, let me insert a new page. Okay. Oh, my software has stopped running. Uh, please give me a minute to check what has gone wrong. All right, welcome back. The first thing we need to do is to draw our line x, y. Let's draw our slant line x, y of any given length. So that is x, y. All right, so let's label the line. Let's look at the end points of our line segment x, y. And locate a point z. So here is my point z. Exactly on the line x, y. All right. Then get a ruler, place a ruler just there where the line is located. All right, when you're done with this, get a set squared and uh, rotate it such that it sits exactly on the line. Okay, uh, we're not good yet. It has to be, it has to be exactly on the line or the edge is sitting exactly on the ruler let's check this out all right so i think this is good okay this is good then you drag the set square drag it hold it firmly hold the ruler firmly and with one hand then with the other hand drag the set square until you get to point z all right we're there okay very good uh excuse me this set square doesn't seem like it is uh, resting exactly on the line. I have to make it perfect. Okay, let's check this out and see. Is this good? Okay. No, this is not good. Not yet. Let's try it out and see how it goes. Rotate it a bit more. Okay. All right, let's check this out. All right, this is great. This is great. So place it until you get to point Z. Then you are good to stop at that point. Okay. All right, so we are good. Then you can now draw a straight line through point Z. So that is the perpendicular line. And you can delete, you can take care of this. So we've gotten our perpendicular line. Let's confirm if this line is perpendicular. I'm gonna I'm gonna measure it with my compass or my protractor to see if it is oh, oh perfect. Very good, 90 degrees. So you can see it's exactly 90 degrees. So it means they are perpendicular. 
line. The two lines are perpendicular. And here is how we indicate that lines are perpendicular. All right, so I hope that, that was clear enough. Uh, please try as much as you can to do your own construction as you continue with the lesson. All right, so the next one is to construct a perpendicular to a line from a point outside the line. And the, the first one was constructing a perpendicular line from a point on the line, while the second one we are about to looking at now is to construct a perpendicular line to a point outside the line. Now to draw a line through O perpendicular to X, Y in the diagram below, step one, place a ruler along X, Y. Step two, place one edge of the right angle of the right angle of the set square along x y step three hold the ruler firmly and then slide the set square along the ruler until the vertical edge reaches the point o then hold the set square firmly and use a pencil to draw a line through o to meet x y at point p so exactly the same step uh, same steps we, we took in constructing the first perpendicular line. I'm going to do that again. So let's get our straight line this time around. Get, get the ruler and draw the straight line to be of any given length. So here's my straight line. All right. Then I, I'm go, I, I need it. I will leave, I need my ruler there. I'll leave it there. So that is the point. Then get your set squared and let us rotate the set squared. All right, so let's place one end of the set square so it will rest on the, uh, the edge of the ruler, good. Then you move, slide this, you keep on sliding your set square slide until you get to that point, perfect. Then with your pencil, sharp end, draw the, the straight line. Okay, sorry, I have to, uh, this, Okay, this will not draw until, until I do this. I rotate this. It wants me to place this end like this. All right, so let's do that so we can draw. Okay, let's see if we are good to go. Okay, we are almost there. Okay, perfect. So you move until you get to that particular point uh, all right so uh, i don't think this is perfect yet move just keep all right perfect now so let's now draw a straight line so i think it allows draw the line now okay good so that is a perpendicular line so that is our perpendicular line and uh, that is cool. All right. Uh, no, that is that is not cool yet. I have to get it right. I have to get it right. So here is a perpendicular line, and that is cool now. All right. So we we'll measure it. A measure a perpendicular line. Let's measure with a protractor and see if it's oh exactly 90 degrees. This is this is lovely. All right, so I I hope that was clear enough and very easy to do. Okay, so please uh, endeavor you uh, you also practicalize this, construct yours, and and see that you get it right. Okay, so before I end this section, uh, I will need to give you some evaluation questions. And this question, yes, you're, you're meant to submit it as at when do you supposed to be created in our Google Classroom platform and the due date and time is indicated where you need to submit your evaluation questions. Says question one, draw a line RS which is length six centimeters and mark three points A, B, and C 
at the same distance apart on the line. Using a ruler and set square, draw a perpendicular to the line RS at each of these points. Part C of question one. What do you notice about the three lines? Question two. Construct a rhombus of size five centimeters with an obtuse angle of size 100 degrees. Part B of question two. Measure the diagonals and the angles between them and what do you notice? So like I said earlier, I'm going to create a post labeled evaluation questions where you submit this construction as at when due. The due date and time will be indicated. So endeavor and ensure that you uh, do this or you attempt these questions. All right, so I think we are good to continue. Uh, this is the last segment of this lesson. And it's, uh, it's all about constructing 90 and 60 degrees. And before we talk about construction of 90 and 60 degrees, let's talk about bisection of a given line segment. The line segment AB is the part of the line between A and B, including the points A and B. To bisect the line segment AB means to divide it into two equal parts. Here are the steps to bisect a straight line segment. Step one, open a pair of compasses using a convenient radius of the length of AB. Two, place the sharp point of the compass on A, draw two arcs, one above and the other below, the middle of AB. Three, Keep the same distance and place the sharp point of the compass on B. Draw two arcs so that they cut the first arcs at points P and Q. Draw a straight line through P and Q so that it cuts AB at M. So here is exactly how our construction should look like. Let's practicalize it. All right, I'm back to my construction application. So uh, I'm going to do it with these and these lines. We're about to bisect a straight line. Okay, so first thing first, get your ruler, place it horizontally, and draw, uh, a, li a, uh, draw a line of any given length, not too long. Okay. All right, so next, I'm done with my ruler. Let me do it with it. I'm going to get my compass and open. Uh, let the radius of the compass be equal to the length of the line segment. Exactly. That will be the length of the line segment here, yeah, about to bisect exactly. So that is the length. All right. So that is 6.1 centimeters. That's the length of the line segments drawn. Then the next step is to draw an arc above and below the line segments. Draw arcs above and uh, below the line segments, just like this. All right? Next, move your compass to the other end of the line segments and draw another arc to intersect the first uh, ones you've drawn above and below, just like this, exactly like my hair. And you can do away with the compass, you're done with it. And finally, get back your ruler and take the measurement or uh, connect, draw a straight line uh, through the points of intersection of the of those two arcs drawn above and below. And then we'll make sure that the line will pass exactly through the point of intersection. 
If not, you won't get uh, a good bi bisection. You won't do, the bisection would not be correct. So let's go ahead and draw this line and confirm if we've actually bisected, we've done the bisection correctly. So let us confirm. So how do you confirm if your bisection is correct? You measure the line, the initial line drawn. Okay, let's take our measurements. So you see the initial line drawn is 6.1 and the half of 6.1 is 3.05, which is very, very okay. And that is perfect. So you can see that our bisection is done perfectly. That is lovely. So uh, make sure you do yours and uh, ensure that your construction is correct. How do you confirm again? Measure it. You see my measurement from zero to 6.1. That is the length of the line segment. And look at it. Look at the half. The half of that line segment is what we have, 3.05. So can you see that? Hope that will see that. So that is good. So confirm yours. You, you are advised to use an, an, an odd number or an even number length uh, of to be, uh, let the length of your line segment be an even number. Uh, you can measure eight centimeters, 10 centimeters, four, six, and so that your bisection will be also, it can be easily divided by two to get a whole number. All right, so let's continue with the lesson. Now we are, we're going to talk about construction of angles 90 and 60 degrees. So to start with, let's discuss construction of 90 degrees. Given a point on a line AC, here is our line AC and the point B. It is required to construct a line BR through B such that RBA is we will be equal to RBC and that will be equal to 90 degrees. Here are the steps. With center B and radius, uh, with center B and a radius, draw arcs to cut AC at P and Q. With center P, Q and equal radial, draw arcs to cut each other at R and join BR. Let's quickly carry out those steps and see how to go about constructing angles 90 degrees. Okay, let me do it with this first and I will get back to it. All right, let's get our ruler again. So in this time around, we are not interested in the length of the line. All we need to do is just get a horizontal line, which is something like this. And let's label the lines. Uh, what the label again? Uh, the, the lines are A, B, and we locate a point P. And call a point B, rather. A, B, locate a point B. All right, so let's go, let's go ahead with it and see how it looks like. So here is uh, a line A, is it A, B, or A, C? And a point B. So we want to get, I uh, want to construct angle 90 degrees through at point B. Okay, so the first step is to get our compass, get a pair of compass, and do with any given at center B and any. Uh, any convenient length, draw an arc exactly like this. Okay, so we label the arc. Let's label the arc, the point of intersection of the arc on the line. Let's label that PQ. So here is point P and here is point Q. Okay, All right, so I'm going to get my compass again with any convenient radius center center at uh, p any convenient radius center at p draw an arc above above the line just like this and center at q 
draw another arc to intersect the first arc just like this all right so finally with your ruler connect the point of intersection of those arcs with the point b to to get to have your uh, what do you call it now perpendicular line of 90 degrees so you construct perpendicular line just like how you construct 90 degrees remember when we say two lines are perpendicular it means they meet at 90 degrees let's confirm our construction if it's correct oh very perfect so you can see it runs through 90 degrees so this construction is very very correct so i hope that was clear and easy to understand all right let's look at the next thing we have so you see I construction looks exactly like this. Now you can see that BR is perpendicular to AC thus. RBA is equal to RBC equals 90 degrees. Now use a protractor to check your result just like I've done earlier. Next, let's see how to construct 60 degrees. Given a straight line DC to construct a point A such that a, B, C will be equal to 60 degrees. Now, with center B and any given radius, draw an arc to cut B, C at X, just exactly that uh, as it is in the, in the uh, figure below. With center X and the same radius as in one, draw an arc to cut the first arc at A, then join A, B. That's we produce angle 60 degrees. Let us confirm those steps by doing it practically. Okay, so right now let's do with uh, the ruler and the protractor and let's see how to go about the construction. So first, get back the ruler again, draw a straight line of any given length, draw a horizontal line of any given length, then we locate, let's label this point B. All right, here is point B and here is point C. Okay, so at point, at center C, B, center B, center B, and uh, any given radius. So let's make use of this. Okay, let's increase a bit. Enter any given radius, you draw an arc. Now, as uh, soon as you're done drawing the arc, please don't alter the radius of the compass. With the same radius, place your compass, the sharp end of your compass, at this point marked X. Okay? So this point is X here. Place the compass at that point and draw on that act to intersect the first just exactly like this all right so we call that point let's label the point a then finally get your ruler and connect uh the point a to, to b to construct to, to have your 60 degrees uh correctly constructed and after doing that we confirm if our answer is actually correct using a protractor so and make sure that the ruler is passing through the intersection of those arcs and uh, exactly at point b exactly at point b so you have to do that carefully okay so i think this is okay all right, let's, let's connect this and see how it goes. All right, this is good. So let's, let's take our measurements. Let's measure the angle, confirm using the protractor to see if our construction is actually correct or not. Oh, this is sweet. So perfect. So you can see that is exactly 60 degrees. Construction done correctly. So uh, please do yours and see that your construction is also done correctly before you continue with the lesson. So finally, we shall look at uh, some practice exercises. 
number one, with mathematical set instruments. Oh, sorry, which mathematical set instrument is used for drawing arcs, curves, and circles? Two, draw the following angles using your set squares. 30 degrees, 150 degrees, 135 degrees. Three, use a ruler and set square to construct a pair of parallel lines that are four centimeters apart. Four, construct angle BAC, which is equal to 60 degrees, and angle XYZ, which is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so I hope you found this uh, lesson interesting and very highly interactive interactive in what sense in the sense that you're getting to you get to pause and do your own practicals you get to pause and do your own practicals so if you have any question any confusing issue feel free to post the questions under the comment section of this video and uh, always remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video so why do you need to subscribe you subscribe so that anytime i add any video you get a notification and you can easily watch the video thank you for your patience and for your particip uh, participation throughout this lesson i hope to see you again in our next class you have a great time learning and remember to keep staying safe. God bless you.